आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Ai vari vipatti ami mule kashala bandit may bhuhi ami khule kashala In today's episode we remember freedom fighter Anna Patrave. Anna was a resident of Satara, Maharashtra. Noticing the spreading of the Quit India movement in Satara, the British police launched a full-fledged campaign against the people who participated in it. They arrested a number of demonstrators including Anna Patrave and kept them in Sangli Central Jail. On the 24th of July 1943, Anna Patrave along with others made a daring attempt at escaping from the jail but hearing about the escape bet the Sangli state police followed them and in the encounter Anna Patrave was shot dead on the 24th of July 1943 AIR news salutes the brave son of the soil We also remember renowned flautist and nationalist Pandit Panna Lal Ghosh who was born on the 24th of July 1911 in Barisal now in Bangladesh During his young days at Barisal Panna Lal was active in the freedom struggle and in the formative phase of his career he also came under the influence of Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore and Qazi Nazrul Islam who helped instill nationalistic outlook in him In 1928 Ghosh joined a gymnasium and learned martial arts boxing and stick fighting to fight against the British as he became more involved in the independence movement the British authorities started keeping a close watch on him he had to flee to Kolkata his childhood friend and brother-in-law Anil Biswas also came to Kolkata In Kolkata Panna Lal utilized his musical skills and assisted in music production. In 1940, he moved to Bombay to further expand his music career. He joined the Bombay Talkies Film Studio and gave music to quite a few popular films. A disciple of Alauddin Khan, Panna Lal is credited with popularizing the flute as a concert instrument in Hindustani classical music and also the pioneer of Indian classical flute. the true patriot that he was panalal ghosh gave stirring compositions and flute playback for the nationalistic film andolan in 1951 the movie has actual footage of india's freedom struggle speeches and talks of mahatma gandhi jawaharlal nehru and many others are included in the narrative of this film Ghosh's music represents a unique confluence of technique and expertise which are the characteristics of the bean car tradition. Panalal Ghosh was the conductor of All India Radio's Vadya Vrinda Orchestra from 1956 till his demise in 1960 when he was only 48. In these creative years he produced many compositions like Kalinga Vijaya and Rituraj Pandit Pannalal Ghosh's legacy continues with his many disciples we salute the great nationalist and music exponent we pay tribute to the freedom fighter Konda Venkata Ranga Reddy who died on the 24th of July 1970 <laughs> Popularly known as KV Ranga Reddy, he was born on the 12th of December 1890 and fought against the Razakars of Nizam of Hyderabad. After the integration of Hyderabad in India, 
Reddy served as the Minister of Revenue in 1959 and served as the first Deputy Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh from 1959 to 1962. K. V. Ranga Reddy participated in the Telangana movement and is known for his forthright speech at Sidhyambar Bazar, which ended with his words, "Ghulam ki zindagi se maut achi." Reddy founded the educational institution A. V. College. K. V. Ranga Reddy continued to work for the betterment of people till his death in 1970. A. I. R. News salutes the great nationalist. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.